Come take a look at some great hobby products from Green Stuff World. Spiky bits. What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear with you again today, checking out some really cool Green Stuff products, of course, from Green Stuff World. That's greenstuffworld.com. These are the rolling pin sets, or a rolling pin with a silicone roller rings set from their site. It's, uh, it's amazing stuff. There's So there's a bunch of different patterns. Basically what you're gonna do is if you want to roll out your own green stuff imprinted bases or any, any sort of clay or polymer, onto like a display base or perhaps, you know, just a normal uh, bevel bases from Games Workshop, MDF cut laser bases, you know, whatever's out there. This is a great solution, a cost-effective solution to pick these things up. These are very affordable. Now they do ship out of Spain, so it's probably gonna be worth your while to get uh, a decent kind of order together because of the shipping internationally but it comes pretty quick and i can't really complain about how it's packed whatsoever so once you get these things let me show you what this is it's basically a rolling pin with some aztec type patterns which you can see right in there like here's uh like a sun god kind of huge circle pattern and you've got all sorts of glyph reliefs and things and this crazy little like arrows you see everywhere very indiana jones in the temple of of doom stuff you see what you would see in mexico you know southwest united states whatever it's got a very cool aztec theme to it and this would be great for like say stormcast or like anybody that uses ruins you know eldar uh, seraphon all that stuff out there now when you're trying to roll stuff out, if, you, if you've ever used a rolling pin before, you know it's always hard to maintain a constant depth unless you're just trying to go as far as possible, which isn't the case with this because we're trying to roll these out on a base. But what's really cool is that they have these great silicone rolling rings right here that are various sizes for exactly what we might need them for, for uh, you know, flat MDF kind of type, uh, type uh, laser cut flat stuff, you would use these rings. For larger beveled edge Games Workshop plastic bases, you would use something like this. And then for like smaller stuff, like say rounded lip things, you would use these right here. So three great sizes, so we're not gonna worry about those, we're gonna worry about this. And all you gotta do to attach these, just put it right here, there's a little flat clear spot on each end to attach the rings to. And then you're off to the races, getting ready to roll out some really great base toppers for your army, right? So first off, when you're working with green stuff, because obviously you're going to want to make sure it doesn't stick to everything. So you're going to mix up some green stuff here. And all green stuff is, it's called, a, a, the industry name is Nidatite. It's two-part epoxy that you mix together. More blue in your mix instead of 50-50 will give you a shorter drying time. More yellow will give you a longer drying time. So just keep that in mind when you're working it. Now, there's a couple different ways to keep the green stuff from uh, sticking to whatever you're, you're trying to work with. Like, so you want to make sure that you get a little bit of petroleum jelly, like sculptor's petroleum jelly. You can put it on your fingers. I don't have any. You could also use a uh, talcum powder and water mix, which I also don't have. <laughs> but what I do have is uh, just normal hand soap. So I mix up a little of this, kind of put it into a uh, little water. So kind of make it a semi liquidy gel kind of type deal and spread it over my fingers so I can mush out some green stuff here and get it all nice and flat. Now, you wanna make sure that when you're about to roll it out that you're gonna do the same thing over the pin. You're gonna to wanna to make it nice and frothy so this, when you roll it out, doesn't stick to, doesn't stick to your green stuff there. So you can see it's getting nice and, nice and frothy and that's exactly what we want right there. So now we're gonna roll out, uh, stick a little bit of green stuff onto our base, smush it all down. Now once this dries, you will have to take an X-Acto blade around the lip, be very careful. It's like peeling an apple, but you don't wanna uh, jam yourself up right there. You can already get the, access, the excess off that you can already see happening here, but we're not gonna worry about that quite yet until it's all dry. So we get a nice smooth layout right there. Hopefully that doesn't stick uh, to the bottom right there. Go back, make sure we got this. I'm gonna dump a little bit of water on the rolling pin itself. Lather it up really good because I don't want this to mess up. If you had the petroleum jelly or the talc, you would get this on it right now. And then we're gonna get ready to roll it on out. 
All right, so here we go. I want to get that nice, cool sun, uh, sun god kind of pattern here on my first base. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to roll it right over. And it popped up a little bit. So, you know, our first try here wasn't that great. Sometimes it takes a minute. If we had the right material, that would probably help too. And they do sell the petroleum and jelly over on Green Stuff site, but I was a stupid and didn't buy any. But there you go, you kind of get the idea. If you do it right and roll it through, and you get that good stick, the problem was that I had that uh, mixture on my hand, so the green stuff isn't actually sticking to the base itself. That's the problem we're having right here, which you can kind of tell. So if I smooth, smooth this down, but if I gave it a little bit of time to dry, it'd be, it'd be fine. It would start sticking to the to the plastic base right here. Sometimes working with green stuff, it's like kind of like working with the airbrush. Like it's a great tool and it's a great material, but everything kind of has to line up directly in in uh, in a certain <laughs> certain fashion or else you're going to be sorry and not able to produce what it is you're exactly looking for. So I'm going to lube up this rolling pin again real quick and with a little dish soap and go to town on it. Let's see if the second try is any good. Any more gooder. There we go. I just didn't press down enough. I think I was uh, I think I was not pressing down enough because I wasn't sure I didn't want it to, to roll up. But you can tell I already did one uh, just to playing around and trying it out and it turned out just fine right there. So you can tell this product definitely works. I might not be able to, to always get it 100% on camera. So once this dries, I'll go through and I'll exacto blade, I'll flip it over and exacto cut around that lip to give it that nice beveled edge and texture. But remember, each one you do, depending on where you roll it, it's gonna be a different pattern. So every base is gonna look different. And that's what's gonna be really cool. So all you need to do is just pick you up a, a, a grip of plastic bases or small, flat MDF laser cut bases or your round lip bases, whatever you're working with, and just go to town laying out all your green stuff and then in one fell sweep, just go through and rolling pin out all your bases and you're gonna have some really dope looking uh, display bases or texture bases for your army for a very, very low cost. I mean, basically you're paying for the green stuff, the rolling pin, and you just your time at that point, really, because I mean, if you think about it, spending you know, 10 to 20 bucks on 10 bases really isn't going to get you far. You spend that same amount of money on materials, you're going to get a whole army's worth of bases uh, as long as you have green stuff for the most part. And then if you ever want to, you know, pick up another pattern from green stuff world, you definitely can because they have a ton over there. You won't have to buy the rolling rings uh, secondary either. They have blank rolling pins as well. So you can just pick those up if you just need to roll out uh, green stuff, you know, just to be flat, you can get that too. So pretty neat little product over at Green Stuff World. Of course, it's greenstuffworld.com. You can check that out anytime. Now, if you like our video features here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on our videos.